Alright guys, welcome back. Last time we did the CC, today we will do all the in-betweens, um, text animation, glitches. Um, Alright, so just hop in, don't waste time, let's go. First of all, we want to do a little glitch. We want to add this like I did in here at the beginning. At the moment it looks like this. So we want to add a little glitch. I did it with BCC video glitch. You can use wave warp, whatever you want. Take a look at the stripe pack, you can uh, do a new adjustment layer, make for example a one framer, click on the one frame, go on animation, apply animation preset and there you go, stripe pack presets and then you can see one framer, you go on wave warp and you're basically ready to go. Alright, just a basic animation of uh, the glitch intensity um, from high to zero. So it looks like this. All right, so the next step we want to do is we want to add a frame. So how can you create like these round um, black bars like I use a lot of times? Um, it's pretty easy. Just go control Y for a new solid. And then you're going to do the round rectangle tool right in here. Don't select anything and just double click. So a new shape layer will, uh, will be created and here inside you can choose how big it should be click the chat mark to make it variable on each length so right here you can play with the roundness you can do it really round and then make a check mark right here to constrain the proportions and scale it a bit down and as you can see if you go on stroke on the text and you select this one it looks like this and now you click on you to hide everything and go on toggle switch modes and on the black solid if you select it go on alpha mode go on alpha invert sorry and here you go you got your round corner and what i want now is i want to adjust this size a bit to have it yeah to have more black bar uh, on top and on the bottom so we go on the rectangle i'm gonna go on rectangle path and on the size uncheck this and go with something like this all right should be done and then it looks like this Alright, now the only thing left is the text animation. Text animation, we got right here. We want one in there, we want a little, um, on the side, a little, um, yeah, little black thing. So, I can show you right now what I mean. It looks like this. So, how do we create this? We just um, create a solid again. Go on the layer, above the layer, so just go on a second. Create a solid, control Y, click solid, and then you uncheck this and scale it down to have something like, I don't know, 5 probably, or oh, let's go with 7. And yeah, then we just want to drag it down to the left side, just like this, and as you can see, we want to add a text on it. So we just create a text on the space and I don't know you can write down whatever you want it's basically uh, just fill the content fire force and I don't know the title this is for a tutorial tutorial all right then we're gonna choose go on the font change the color to something white like this, font monster oh, is fine. Then we want to do a little bit smaller the text and the paragraph the center. So it looks like this. Here we go, press R for rotation and go with minus 90, I guess. Yeah. Then we want to just drag the text. Now it looks a bit, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's a bit less. So we can just, I don't know, copy this and 
it's a bit weird to to write actually but you guess what i mean i guess so then it should look like something like this hopefully and the upper one we wanna just the size so we got something like that and select the title and give it a bigger font now it looks something like this then we want to align it to the actual center and that's it all right so we have something like that you can also scale it a bit down on like 95 so it's not that big and what we do now is for the text animation just put on a opacity click i have it on the text animation i explained how to do it so if you want to check that out and ex uh, get it um click the link in the info box or in the description whatever um yeah i would just uh, speed it up right here randomize order smoothness um and that's basically it oh you sure you want to do the opacity on zero put this on around it then you can just put this on zero here and the randomized order you go on random seat 30 or something all right so you have a text animation right here okay so boop, boop. and for the black bar as well i want to cut it the black solid is actually i don't know where do you put the black solid is this the black this is the black solid so I'll put it up to the text make a cut right here Control shift d oh Control shift d Control shift d Control shift d oh. Control x lead it all right so i want to put it on top of each other so easier to to drag all right so something like this we want to go with the opacity in opacity press t to get it t all right all right like this and here we want to do a little offset so we want to drag this put it in here put it on that side here we want to put it on select both put it in the middle and frame glitch also for the for the layer itself so we want to make sure to drag this a bit create as a black solid below so you don't have messy things in it delete that it's a bit fast right now so if you don't understand everything just slow down and continue it all right so you just have a little frame glitch whatever and in here we want to add a typo same as for the text animation so you just want to type in fire force um typo 50 just like that align it to the center and boop, cut it to where we want it right in here and we want to do the same opacity opacity to zero range selector advanced smoothness to zero random order on random seat zero and right in here random seat to 30 and add to zero and to 100 sorry and add to zero right here all right so it looks like this and right in here i want to demonstrate a little logo animation so i would just drag in the firefalls logo all right i just dragged the logo in as you can see and same for everything i want to center it so something like that it's not perfectly centered but that's not 
really the matter, but we need to change this center to that, the anchor. All right, so what we want to do is we want to do a scale, a big scale at the beginning. So we actually want to do something like 180 and really fast to like 50. So not that big, probably 40 is, is fine. Probably 30 is fine. <laughs> we really don't want that big. And what we want to do now is we want to rotate it a bit. So on the logo layer, on the composition, rotate. And then we we'll go in here, make a rotation of like three or make like five to see an impact. Go in here, make minus five, five, minus five. That's basically it. And at the end, we want to do a scale out as well. So we want to do two, 200. Okay, so we have something like this. We want to go on the keyframes, select all F9, grab editor on the first one in here. So we want to drag it to something like that and something like that. We want to make sure to have the logo on 198 here. So actually I want it to be the whole screen, to fill the whole screen. Something like this. And... Okay. I'm not pretty sure about... Ah, I see why. The, the black solid right here is not the opacity on it, but the frame has, so that's the wrong. We want not the text to have the opacity animation, we want the black solid to have the opacity animation. So we want 0 to 100. And of course you can make a, make a glow on that Fire Force 1 or whatever you want. In that case, I don't want to. All right, that's it for text animation and everything else. I hope you uh, understand the most of it. If not, just uh, try to repeat the process um, until you understand. And for the text animation, it's a lot easier explained on another video. I will link it in the description and in the info box. Um, yeah, see you in the next one. SFX, for sure.